So he now wants to send them 50. If you do, you give them not $100 billion. You give it to them as a loan. It's called a loan. Give them the money. And if they can pay it back, they pay it back. If they can't pay it back, they don't have to pay it back because, you know, they're, they've got some problems. But if they go to another nation, they drop us like a dog. If that happens to our country, then very simply, we call the loan and we say we want our money because we give money and then they go to another side. As an example, let's say we give all this money. We were already into Ukraine for over $200 billion. And they could make a deal with Russia in the next three weeks, and all of a sudden they don't want to deal with us anymore. And one of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. And the money came flowing in. I said, no, no, you have to understand. You don't pay your bills, you get no protection. It's very simple. Hundreds of billions of dollars came into NATO, and that's why they have money today, because of what I did. And then I hear that they like Obama better. They should like Obama better. You know why? Because he didn't ask for anything. We were like the stupid country of the world, and we're not going to be the stupid country of the world any longer. We're not going to be.